Hi, it's Professor Monte again, and it's time to learn about absolute values. So for an absolute value, we write it this way. We have two straight lines and in the middle of it, in this case, we have an A. Well, this is read as the absolute value of A. And what it represents is the number of units A, whatever's in there, is from zero on the number line. So I've got three examples for us. So for instance, the absolute value of four. Well, if I go to a number line, I put zero there. Well, if I go one, two, three, four units, well, there's the number four. It's four units from zero, so the absolute value of four is just the number four. Similarly, the absolute value of negative two. Well, again, let's go to zero. To get to negative two, I go one, two units to the left. It doesn't matter the direction with absolute value since it's two units away. The absolute value of negative two is the number positive two, two units away. And then zero, obviously, if we go to zero, we don't go anywhere. The number zero is zero units from zero, so the absolute value of zero is just zero. So notice, anytime we take an absolute value, the absolute value itself is just going to be a positive number, or in the case of zero, it's just going to be zero. Hope that helps. Work with it, you'll get it pretty quickly.